Did you actually write this with Bill Monroe? Yeah, we he had the idea of it to start with, and we were always messing around on the bus when we were traveling. Yes, yeah, sir. And uh, we start messing with it, and uh, see, I added a whole third part to it. Really? We were going to play that third part until we got it right through the studio, and we said, "Well, we'll just do it at the end." Didn't know that. Yeah. This is all new. New. I had no yeah. idea. And, uh, and I, I, what had happened is I, I ran across the tape that we did at Bean Blossom August 20th. Wow. And uh, we played that part every time we played. We didn't have a name for the tune. Right. Then when we went in the studio on August 23rd, 1967, right. we didn't want to use that part of the very end of the tune. Wow. So most, so if we had it, it would have been a three-part tune. But it didn't work out didn't that way. It didn't work out that way, so I guess for time thing, we just put it on you. He loved that part. How long did you work with him? Seven months. Wow. And it was drafted then. He knew I was going to be drafted. You know, so I said, I'll play with you as long as I can. And so we did. Then you got that letter of greetings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I forget the first word. I think it's your, your was it your fellow citizens or something uh, like that? I can't remember. But show us how it goes. Go rush. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> That's a hype moment in my life right there. Thank you, honey. Mm.